First Class, what you get for the money you pay. Yes, first class. Incredible private lounges, champagne on departure, then a tasting menu of eight different dishes. And finally, finding your bed made and pillow fluffed. When you turn left while getting on the plane, a completely new world comes before you. A world where you can stretch your legs comfortably and enjoy warm towels and white tablecloths. First class should not be confused with business class, which offers many different advantages. Long haul flights in first class is a wonderful thing for those lucky enough to experience it. Cover some of the pampered luxury options you can encounter when traveling in first class. From the bliss to the glamour in the air. Before departure. Picture this. The VIP treatment starts before you even leave the house. More precisely, when leaving the house, some airlines offer transfer services to first class passengers. In this way, you don't even have to think about how to get to the airport. Get out of your chauffeur driven car, go to your private check in counter, pass through security in a blink of an eye. After going through security, make your way to the private lounge. Private lounges are often shared with business class passengers, but sometimes reserved entirely for first class passengers. These lounges are shelters at airports where not everyone can benefit from the blessings. They are never underfoot and serve wary travelers delicious food, all kinds of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. As if that wasn't enough, if you're lucky, you can take advantage of a massage, manicure, pedicure, and other spa options that you like. In the air. Depending on the airline you use, you'll be directed to your seat or to a compartment or cabin that's just for you. And you'll be greeted with a treat of your choice or beverage. Champagne at 10 in the morning? Why not? The flight attendants who call you by your name and do almost anything you want provided that it stays within reason will take care of you throughout the flight. As the number of first class seats on flights is extremely limited, the rate of crab and crew per passenger will likely be quite high so you will experience impeccable service at every moment of your flight. Of course, there's also the possibility that it has its own mini bar filled with your favorite drinks. In this case, you won't even need to order a drink. If you prefer to socialize over a drink, you might want to check to see if the airline has an in-flight bar. Yes, bar, also on the plane. If you are on one of the largest commercial aircraft currently in service, namely the A380 model aircraft, there's a good chance that you will find a fully equipped bar in a very inconspicuous part of the aircraft. A seat fit for kings. Needless to say, when you're ready for a nap, your couch will transform into a flat bed without any hassle. But if you find it difficult to make your own bed, you can also ask for help. The cabin crew can come and take care of folding and embossing you instantly. After a good night's sleep, enjoy breakfast in bed and freshly brewed coffee, or a glass of champagne if you prefer. If you're flying one of Emirates or Ethad's A380s, of course, stop by the luxurious cosmetics filled bathroom and take a shower before landing. Does it make sense to spend money to fly first class? All of this sounds great. Like being pampered like you've never been before as a first class passenger, but it comes at a price. Why is it so expensive, you might ask? Usually only a few first class seats are reserved and they take up quite a bit of space. And that space can be used for more economy class seats or even more business class seats. In fact, the business class has improved so much in terms of services and facilities that some airlines have decided to remove the first class classification altogether.
why not business class? First class and business class tickets for many, if not most airlines, have a lot in common. As we've just seen, the main difference is in the prices. Business class passengers can access some of the benefits usually reserved for first class passengers. Most of the airline companies that offer home transfer service also offer the same service to business class passengers. At many airports, first class and business class passengers share the same check-in counter and lounge. Business class passengers also have the same advantage of taking a shower in the bathrooms of the lounge when their transfer is long. And of course, they have extra comfortable seats on the plane. While the first class seats may be a little wider, the business class seats can also be folded flat and reclined at the perfect angle for a good night's sleep. Who is it that wastes money on first class? Many first class passengers do not buy their tickets themselves. VIPs, CEOs, movie stars, TV presenters, etc. often have a clause in their contracts mandating first class travel. Why bother with high price if you're not going to pay the bill? What about others? They are probably redeeming their airline miles or taking advantage of the ticket upgrade opportunity. These are very frequent flyers and therefore deserving of this kind of privilege. Even if you're not a billionaire or a celebrity, if you absolutely have to eat Patagonian toothfish with miso sauce on a bed of baby broccoli and can't live without someone fluffing your pillow for you, you better consider spending some money on first class. But let us warn you in advance. Once you have flown first class, nothing will be the same, including your wallet. Mm -hmm.